Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use this graduation mode. So I have my fondant here that I'm using black and white. And then I have my uh, Tylos powder here as well. I have my, um, whatever this is, I can't think of the name, but my little knife. And then I have my molding too. So I'm going to show you how to create that cap. And then at the in the end, we're gonna actually glitter that cap with black uh, disco dust, and we're also gonna paint the tassel gold. And then because this is for a male, I'm thinking about putting a little bow tie on there. No, I'm not gonna do that. But and then these are the little white uh, diploma hairs that we created. These are cupcake toppers that we're working on. So I have my white stuff here in this one corner is what you want to do. You want to make sure you use your tool to push it in here and only push it to this side. Do not push it anywhere else. Then you want to make sure you dip your black fondant or pour some a little bit of Tylos powder on top of your fondant. So now I'm going to take a little piece of my black fondant and I'm going to stuff it in here. That's not enough. I'm going to take some more and do it again. That's a little bit too much. I'll take a little bit off. Now I'm going to smush it in here with my finger. I'm also going to smush it over here to be a little bit on the white. Again, we're going to mend it all together. So now I have it all pressed it and mended it together. And then I just press a little bit here on the part with the black and the white. I want to make sure my edges are clean. Even though we're going to clean it up when we take it out, I just do it while it's in there as well. And then the Tylos powder helps it harden quicker. Now you see, now we have to clean up those edges. See how this white is sticking out right here? So what I do is take my little knife. I don't press on the cap. I just pull it off a little bit. I can do this with you guys to see. I just pinch it off. And that's how you clean up your edges. Then I take my molding tool and I just push it back. And you have to be careful not to break this because it's not all, all the way set. Now we cleaned up that and we got a little bit on this side. There we go. Now we clean up the black part on the graduation cap.
All right. Here's our little graduation cap, all cleaned up, cleaned edges. Now the next thing you want to do is paint your cap tassel with gold. And then if you want, you can put the disco dust on there. For those of you who, who have not seen that, I will show you real quick. So now here's my Sugar Art uh, True Black 5 Grams Black Disco Dust. You can see the little sparkle in it. And then here is my Gold Luster Dust Highlighter. And I purchased these from my local cake supply store here in Georgia. And then I also get this from other vendors that's on Instagram that I follow and I purchase stuff from them because I'm actually done with the cakeart.com store. They full of it. They so rude over there. And then I use my spirit here at my Everclear to help so I can help adhere to that. So, just going to show y'all real quick. It's my cap. I'm going to put a little bit. Put a little bit in my paint pot. You can see that right there. Now, I'm going to put some of this. It's not much left in this one. I have to go, go in there and get another one. But I'm just going to put what I have in here for now. Actually, I'm just going to do it this way. Because I'm using a little brush, I'm just going to wet my brush in it. <clears throat> then paint it. Make sure you're using a small paintbrush. Too big, you're going to make a mess. Now, because I opened this right on top, a little bit of my gold dust splattered on my hat. I'm going to see if I can take a clean brush and dust that off. So if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to answer those. The same way I'm painting this gold um, tassel, it's the same way you're going to put the disco black on the cap. Now you don't have to do this step for the black, that's optional. 
And then these are going to sit out to dry. They don't have to sit out for long because I have the Tylos powder on them. But I'm just going to have these sitting out to dry. And I thought about if I wanted to paint my little bow here. I'm going to paint one and see how it turns out. And I kind of do mine in a tapping motion because if you don't, sometimes it runs over. Especially if you have too much on your brush. And there's my little tassel. So now I have my cap back. And what I'm going to do is wet it with a little bit of the Everclear. And then I'm going to put the glitter on top of only the part I got the Everclear on. And you got to do this quick because if you don't, it's going to dry up real quick. made a mess and this is what can happen to you but what you want to do is not put it everywhere else on the cap but you want to take a dry clean brush and you're going to sweep off the excess Use my spatula here to help me pick this up. Now I'm just going to dust off what's not wet. And this is how it looks. You can do the entire hat or you can leave it with just the top of it. 